Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is the third part in our forum tutorial um, in which um, we will be creating a forum. Um, as you can see I've logged into using our login our login page. Um, next part is what we're going to do. We're going to create the uh, forum categories and such. But I want to make one minor adjustment to our users table here. And uh, I'm going to add a field at the end called level. Or how about admin? We'll call it admin. We'll make it an integer. And the default is zero. Alright, save. Okay. Now I'm going to go into our table. And I'm going to edit my name and make myself admin1. And we'll go ahead. Okay, now um, what we're going to do when we set up the uh, forum categories and forum subcategories, we're going to be creating two tables in the database. So I'm going to click database colon space users and uh, where you see create new table on database users, you're going to see two fields, a name and number of fields. So we're going to call it forum underscore cats. And let's see how many fields we should need. We have the ID, the name of it, a description, possibly an image, and admin only. So we'll go five. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in these fields. And I'm going to make this uh, auto increment and the primary key of this table. Now I'm going to call this one name, and I'm going to make it a verchar or vercare, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to do uh, 32 in our description, or I'm going to call it DESC for a shorthand description. We're going to make that a vercare 255 characters in length. Next, I said we were going to do uh, image. So I'm also going to make this a ver care. I'm going to make it 32. And then admin, we're going to make it an integer. We're going to set the default value to it 0. We're going to save this table. All right. Um, next, we're going to make the forum subcats. So forum underscore sub underscore cats. We'll do 6 this time. Actually, we could go back to forum cats here and uh, delete the image off of it because the image will be under the subcategories. Okay, so we'll go back here. Forum sub cats. This one will use five, six. Six or five, six. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to go uh, ID. Oops, got to click in there. Okay, we're going to make that an integer. Primary key and auto increment. <coughs> and now I'm going to call this uh, row CID for category ID. This will link it back to the forum underscore cats table. And we're going to call this name 32. Description, which will be 255. Image, which will be 32. And admin, integer, and default of 0. Save that. Now I'm also going to go back into the categories. <coughs> and I'm going to delete description off of it. Alright. Now we have ID, name, and admin. Now what I'm going to do here is underneath uh, Marcus Logout, I'm going to add um, some links. Um, so let's go into our index here. Scroll over. And I'm going to change this ID username to star, so select everything. And uh, let's see, welcome back, here we go. Now I'm going to enter a break here. Echo BR. And now we're just going to check to see if row admin equals 1. Echo A ref equals admin.php 
administrative section and we'll close this we'll go ahead and save this and go ahead and check it live there we have it now if I go back into our users table and check that or set that my admin is equal to zero then that link shall go away go ahead and refresh it's no longer there alright now we're going to actually make the administrative page so let's go file new PHP page and uh, we need session start and we're going to include the global page include global.php like so and now we're going to check if the session exists, so if session UID exists, we're going to query out, we're going to select admin only from our users table where their corresponding unique ID is equal to the session ID. UID actually. Alright, and we're going to do a, we're going to query that out here. Oops, cat blocks. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, if my SQL num rows rest equals zero, echo, you are not correctly logged in. And we'll go else. Row equals my SQL fetch source. And that, and then we'll do if row admin doesn't equal one, echo you are not permitted to be here alright and we'll go else echo welcome save this admin.php now we'll go into here welcome alright um let's see uh... well i guess we can spice up the administrative section a little bit so we'll go ahead into our index and copy and paste it. Okay. Let's copy what we have here. We shall include it here. We will go into here and copy and paste this. We'll delete this whole top section like so. Admin index, save it. Let's go down. Um, now we're gonna, uh, after this user info, we're going to create a, uh, a content holder. So right here, we're gonna do, we're gonna call it forum. Actually, we'll, let's just do content set the color of the text to black the font family to Homa we'll set a border of one pix old solid hmm let's let's stick with the nice light gray text the line will be left and the padding on this will also be three pixels so it looks the same <coughs> now we're going to do a uh, content a we're going to change the color of this to, uh, uh, well, we could look up a, a little blue here, so I'm not familiar with hex, hex codes, so, uh, blue hex codes. Okay. Uh, I want a, a nice little, oops, sorry about that. Something like that, so we'll copy and paste this. Okay. We'll go back into our PHP designer, just like so. And we'll do text decoration none. Save this. I'm also going to add a margin. Oops, margin top. We'll do five pixels. Save it. Now here is where we're going to do div ID equals content. We'll go down here, end it right there. We will save this. All right. I did delete it, didn't I? Okay. Um. 
All right. Now inside this PHP stuff here, let's. I'm gonna tab it in one, two. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing like we did before. I deleted it by accident. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. So if session UID. All right. We'll do a query on this. We're gonna rename a query on this. So we'll do a squall SQL three. Select admin from users, where ID equals. Oh, we're doing sessions. Session UID, like so. All right, let's query this out. Or die my SQL error. Oop, error there. And we'll do the if my SQL num rows rest equals zero. Echo, please log in to your account. All right, else we'll do row two equals my SQL fetch asos rest three. All right, if row two admin doesn't equal one, echo, you are not allowed to be here. Else, echo. Welcome to the administrative section of my tutorial. Okie dokie. We have that all set. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. I have to click admin. There we have it. Okay, it's simple as that. Um, what else is there? We're up to 11 minutes. Um, suppose I'm going to stop it here just so I don't have to deal with time uh... actually I'm gonna go ahead and copy this style sheet to a new file okay let's uh... see if there's any tidy... okay whatever um... I will go and uh... replace all of these, so control F, find this, replace with this, replace all. There we go. It's a little neater, I suppose. Let's just remove some of these. Okay, I see what I did. Alright, we're going to save this as style. And, um,. Into our index here, we're going to delete this. So we're going to do link rel equals style sheet, type equals text slash CSS, and to link it, style.css, we will copy and paste this line. We will put it on our admin section as well. So let's go ahead and delete this. And replace it with that, save it, and go here. Should there we go. Alright. There we have it. Um, alright, so um this tutorial is over for now. This video, this will be available in high definition. Um well if you like my tutorials and you wish to see the progress of this uh span tutorial, please subscribe. You'll receive my videos as soon as I upload them. And, um, yeah, that's basically uh, what I have to say. And if you like this video, please rate it. Um, I'm always open to comments, and I will respond to any of them, whether negative or positive. And thank you.